Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to my crochet tutorial. Today we're going to make this beautiful star sweater and my process for creating. I make a little mood board off of pictures that I get inspired by from Pinterest and I bring those pictures into Procreate and I sketch out my design. I do this before I create literally everything crochet just so I can get the colors, the design, and everything all figured out. I designed this one as well and you guys have already seen it with the black and white striped sleeves and you loved it so much. Much, and you're like when's the tutorial coming when's it coming and here it is and I hope you guys love it hi friends thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel and tuning in for today's crochet tutorial and as you could see in the previous clips what we're going to be making but we're gonna make it in like a brown color palette and I was scrolling through Pinterest as I often do looking for crochet inspiration and all of that I came across these really pretty sweaters and a lot of them were knit and I was like, I don't know how to knit. I cannot probably knit, I don't know. I've never tried knitting, but it looks really hard. And I was like, I think I can make that crocheted and I want to figure it out, but I couldn't find a tutorial anywhere. So I just figured it out on my own. And I made that one uh, with the black and white stripes. And I think it turned out so good. So I was like, I gotta show you guys how to make it. So here's the video to show you guys how to make that black and white sweater that you guys all loved so much. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have my three brown colors that I'm gonna be using. And I have my hook. I'm not sure which one, which size. I'm thinking the 5.75, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one. And then you need scissors, tapestry needle. Um, all of those are near the room where my daughter is napping and I don't wanna wake her up with the creaking floor, so. I'll just write a list of things that you need on screen. So I have a darker brown, a lighter brown, and then this light creamy color. Um, this is Red Heart yarn, I believe. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but all I know is, is that it's acrylic. For my first one, um, I'm gonna go grab it and show you. And as you can see with this one, it looks a little bit more meshy. Our acrylic one isn't gonna look as much like that, but it's only this way because I used a large hook size with a very thin yarn. And this yarn right here is this beautiful green color by Darn Good Yarn. They sent me this color and it's absolutely stunning. There's so many variations of that beautiful deep green and it's such a luxurious yarn. I definitely recommend you going to check them out for very high-end luxury yarns. And then as you can see, the sleeves were done with that same lace weight type yarn with the larger hook. And that's how you achieve more of the meshy look. I love how this turned out like, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so funky and so fun. And the star. I'll also show you guys how to crochet the star. As you could see in my other one, there is two panels for the front of the sweater. And we're gonna be crocheting the first panel right now and I'm going to use this dark brown color for it. As you can see, I just used a solid color. You can literally use any color that you want, but for the front and back panel, I'm going to use this dark brown because I have plenty of it. I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. And then for my other one, I chained 45. I think that was good, so I'm going to chain another 45 for the front panel. It depends on your size. Um, I would just measure it up shoulder to shoulder like how I showed you with my crocheted sleeves video. I would just measure it as you go, like chain an amount, a certain amount, like 50 let's say, or 30, whatever, and then size it up to your shoulder to shoulder, see if it fits. And usually I like it to be a little bit bigger because it does kind of shrink a bit when you get all those stitches in there. But for me, I found that chaining 45 was good for my previous one. So I'm just gonna do that same thing. Two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to yarn over and put a double crochet in my first stitch. And then in the next stitch. And in the next. And I'm just going to put one double crochet in every stitch going all the way down. Last stitch. Okay, so now I double crocheted all the way down in 
every stitch. And now I'm going to chain two, one, two, turn my work. And now I'm going to double crochet all the way down again. So now we have the chain two that counts as the first double crochet. Then we're gonna yarn over and double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're just going to make more double crochets going all the way down. And again, I'm just going to double crochet all the way down this row till I get to the end. That last stitch of the row. And then I'm going to chain one, chain two, turn work and do the exact same thing all the way down and if you're a beginner I recommend counting your stitches just to make sure that you don't have to frog the entire thing and when you get to like 10 rows and you're like oh my gosh I missed like two stitches or one stitch so if you're a beginner I would recommend you counting your stitches so if you have you know 45 you know make sure you have 45 in every single row or if you have 50 or 60 or however many you have just make sure that you keep track of it if you are new to crocheting now i'm just going to continue doing this pattern chain two double crochet all the way down chain two turn work and repeat until i get my desired length for my green one i did 24 rows for the front and back panels um, but for this one, I'm not entirely sure yet. So just keep going until you reach a panel length that you like, and I will let you know how many rows I did for mine, just so you can kind of see if you want to do the same thing. So go ahead and finish this panel and then repeat by making a second one. And I'll see you when both of our panels are completed. And I just wanted to quick reiterate because I didn't know if I explained it well enough but at the end when you reach that chain two you're just going to make your final stitch double crochet at the top of that chain two so you're just going to insert your hook and put your final double crochet in the top of that chain two chain two turn and then you know repeat but I just wanted to make sure I made that clear enough for you guys so I finished the front two panels and now I'm gonna show you guys how I do the striped sleeve portion. Okay, so these are the two front panels. I only did 19 rows because I sized it up to my body and I thought it fit, but I was sitting down and then I stood up and I was like, oh, well, they are a little too cropped. So I have to go add a few more rows to them. So I'm probably gonna do about 24 in total, like I did with the other one, maybe more, we'll see, but I'll let you know um, at the end. But I'm just gonna show you how I do the sleeves. I already made one of the sleeves in this really, I love how it turned out with the stripes and everything. I think it just looks so cute. Don't you just love it? I think it's so cute. So this is what the sleeve, is going to look like it's going to be folded like this so there's the sleeve it's kind of nice and cute and wide and I love that so this is what the sleeve is going to look like and then of course um, this is the front panel of the sweater um, as you can see let me just move it up a hair as you can see it's gonna be like fairly cropped so I'm gonna want to add a few rows to the front panel I'll let you know how many I add at the end I already have all my ends woven in and now I'm just going to show you how I made the sleeve. So now I'm just going to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to chain 55. So now that I have 55 chains, I'm going to like we did with the front and back panels, we're just going to double crochet all the way down. So I'm just going to start double crocheting all the way down. Just one double crochet in every chain. I've done a double crochet in every stitch all the way down. Now I've reached the end, so I'm going to chain two, one, two, 
turn my work. And same thing with the front panels. There's just more stitches this time around. And now I'm just going to double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet all the way down the row again. I forgot to mention this beforehand, but what you're gonna wanna do before you keep continuing and going, you're gonna wanna fold your sleeve in half, put it on your arm, make sure it fits, make sure it's not too big, make sure it's not too small, but you're gonna wanna do that when you have your chains. I just know that this is a good amount for me. So before you, like you chain the, you know, how I said 55, if you chain 55 and then you're like, oh, I think it needs to be a little bit bigger, or oh, I think it needs to be a little bit smaller, you can just take away chains and then make sure to write down how many that you do so you can duplicate that for the other side. So basically you always want to, when you have your initial chain, you always wanna size it up to your bust measurement, shoulder measurement, arm measurement, leg measurement, whatever, just so you can easily take away chains, add chains and do whatever you need to do just so it can perfectly fit you. And that's what I love about crochet because it's so easily customizable. Um, so definitely do that beforehand. Sorry, I didn't mention it sooner. Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna do that for the sleeves and for the front and back panels of the sweater. Reach the end of the row. I have to get this final double crochet at the end. Then I'm going to chain two. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one more row of this color and then I'm gonna switch to my dark brown, do three rows of that one, switch to my light cream color and then do three rows of that one just how I did with the first sleeve. I did three rows of each color and then I did, let's count how many I did, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I did 14 rows of each color of three blocks. So if you wanna do that, it's, like I said, entirely customizable. You just keep trying it on and you're like, okay, I think I need to add another clump of three or okay, I think I need to stop. But that's really awesome about this, about crochet in my opinion, that you can just size it up to your body as you're making it and make it perfectly to fit you. So I'm gonna go ahead, do one more row of this and then I'm going to switch to my dark brown and then my cream and then I'm gonna keep going all the way down weave in all of my ends and then I'll see you guys when that's all done. And then again the same thing with the previous row. You want to make sure that you do your final double crochet in the top of the chain two. So the chain one, chain two. So finish that off like that. So now I'm just adding my next color and I'm gonna knot it because I like the added security. I actually double knot it because I wanna make sure it all stays nice and secure. And then you just chain two like normal, turn your work. And now I'm just gonna keep going. The chain two counts, of course, as my first double crochet. So that goes into this stitch. So now I'm going to go into the next one with my next double crochet and keep going all the way down. And then we hiked over to the creek to do some art and I crocheted and it was super fun, but long story short, we stayed there way too late and we had to hike back in the pitch black darkness. It was quite spooky, but fun. <laughs> so now I have my two front panels done. I added four more rows to them just so it would be a little bit longer. So now what I'm going to do is you're going to line them up on both sides and then you're going to slip stitch for the shoulders. So I'm just gonna slip stitch probably about this much on either side, but of course then trying it on, um, putting it on um, over my head just to make sure that it fits nicely. As you can see, I lined up both sides of the sweater and I inserted my yarn. So I have the long end here and the short end here. And now I'm just going to make a double knot here. I don't know where my tripod went. I completely spaced on where I put it after we went to the creek the other day. So I'm gonna look around the house for it. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how I I'm going to uh, slip stitch across. So basically I'm just gonna line up every stitch. I'm gonna insert my hook into the first. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one just to start it out. And now make sure, making sure it's perfectly lined up, I'm going to go in every double crochet across. So the first one across and the second one, and I'm gonna slip stitch. So line it up again, 
insert it through both double crochets on both sides, slip stitch, same with the next one, insert it in both double crochets, continuing to line it up and slip stitch down however far you'd like. Just make sure that it's perfectly lined up. See how the stitches are perfectly lined up? That's what you want. Now that I have enough of the shoulder slip stitched, I'm going to chain one. Oops. Chain one. And then I'm going to cut my yarn. And then just pull it to tighten it. So now I have this side done. So now I'm going to count how many I did on this side and do the same thing on the other side. I slip stitched both of the shoulder pieces and put my head through just to make sure everything was fitting correctly. Now we're going to go crochet on the sleeves and I'm going to show you how to do that. I found my tripod in the car, so we're good now. <laughs> um, I have my panels and I, as I said, slip stitched all right in here. Make sure it's facing inside out so you have like the slip stitched seam like right here. And now we're gonna work with our sleeves. So for mine, I am just taking them and folding them in half, um, not this way. We're gonna fold them in half with the ends, like the raw ends here, and we're gonna fold it this way. So make sure you do that with both of yours. Fold them in half, Oops. like this. Okay, so now we have them folded in half. So now I have my lovely stitch markers. Wow, uh, stitch markers, the name just escaped me for a second. I have my stitch markers here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of them and I am going to actually put this color first. So here we go. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker and I have it folded in half, so like that. And the folded end, I'm just going to put my stitch marker in one of the stitches in the middle here. And then I'm gonna set that one aside and do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so now both of them are in the middle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to line them up onto the sweater. I'll pull it down so you guys can see a little bit better. So now I'm just going to take the stitch marker here line it up with the seam here, and then the same goes for the other one. Now I'm gonna take my stitch marker and connect it to this panel right here, right in this middle part right here, the seam. I'm just gonna attach the stitch marker to one of those stitches right there in the middle. There we go. And you want to make sure that you're working on a nice flat surface. I'm going to kind of move things around when I turn the camera off, but I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so just unclip it and then stick it right in the middle here. Okay, as you can see, I've added two more stitch markers here just to keep everything relatively even. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew with my tapestry needle all the way down both sides. But see how I'm keeping mine like even with like the stitches from the front panel? You're gonna wanna do that. You wanna keep it very relatively even, which is why I do recommend putting the stitch markers in just to keep everything in place because you don't want your sleeves to be like one this down here and like one up here. You know, you want it to be nice and even. I'm using this color of yarn, so I'm just gonna grab out a bunch of it so I can use it to sew and cut the yarn. So I'm just threading my yarn into my tapestry needle now. I cut like way too long as I always do. So yeah, maybe just don't obviously cut as long as I did. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna show you how I do this. So now as you can see, my workspace is nice and flat. I have the hole nice and closed here 
like everything just lined up nice and flat. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, sewing this sleeve to here. So I'm just gonna pick, I think I'm gonna start from right here. And I'm just gonna bring the two together. And then I'm going to tie it, of course. I'm gonna double knot it. I love when I like crochet dog hair because I have two golden retrievers and I oftentimes crochet dog hair into my into my pieces. Okay, so that's nice and tight. All right, so now we're just going to line up this side to this side like we did with the top here. So I'm just gonna start sewing. two together and just lining up the V stitches from the double crochets on the sleeve and then on the front panels or the back or whatever one we're doing right now sorry my lighting keeps changing it's like a partly cloudy day today so I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna go the other way into the next stitch all the way down. I reached the stitch marker, so I'm actually just gonna pop it out. Oh, or break it. <laughs> Whoops, I broke it. Okay, well, that one is done, I guess. Okay, so now we've reached the middle. And you just keep going. So I'm just gonna keep going all the way down here to this stitch marker that you guys cannot see. Um, that one, yes, I know you can see. So I reached the final stitches, but I'm just gonna go back and forth a few times just to make it extra secure. And then I'm just weaving it back through so I can cut it. Now we are all sewn on this side and now we're gonna jump over and do the same thing that we did on this side on the other side. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet the sleeves and then I also have to show you how to crochet the star for the front. If you want to put the star on the front, you don't have to, but I think it's adorable. So I'll show you how to do that. Now we have both sides stitched. So we're going to fold her over like this. Okay, so I just figured out the star pattern because the first one I made was not right. It had six points, so I was like, wait, what the heck? I mean, it's kind of vibey, but then I was like, wait a minute, like, I gotta figure this out. So I made this one just now, so I'll show you guys how to make it right this time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with a magic ring. And then you're going to chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, so one, two, three. And what we're gonna want is 15 double crochets into this ring, but this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So you're technically going to do 14 double crochets into this ring. And then we're going to take this and pull it to close the ring. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So now we have our circle. So now we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, sorry. We're gonna chain five, and now we're working on our points. So we're gonna work right here. In the second chain from the hook, we are going to put a single crochet. In the next one, we're going to do a half double crochet, a double crochet in the next one. So we're just building up with longer stitches, and then we're gonna do a treble crochet or a triple crochet in the last one. So now we have our little point, and then you're going to, as you can see at the top of these stitches, you're gonna skip one, two, and slip stitch into the third there. So now we have our first point, 
So now you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five again. Then we're gonna single crochet in the first chain from the hook, second chain from the hook, sorry. Half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, and then triple or treble crochet in the last. Then we're gonna skip our two stitches, one, two, and slip stitch into the third. So now we have two points. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Half double crochet in the next, just building up that point. Double crochet in the next, and then triple crochet in the last. Skip two, one, two, slip stitch into the third. So now I'm gonna make the next, the last two points. Now I've done the last point, we're gonna skip one, two, and then slip stitch into that last stitch right here, right before that first um, point that we did. And you're just gonna slip stitch into there, chain one. Then you're gonna cut your yarn and pull your needle out, tighten it up, tighten this circle. And there we have another star. We're gonna sew that into the middle, but not yet. We're going to first go and sew the sleeves closed. I have my sweater right side out and you don't want that. You're gonna to wanna to turn it inside out. Fold it over nice and even so that all of the seams are facing out. Now that everything is um, facing inside out and we have the seams on the inside, I'm going to now sew like I did up here, um, this part right here with the dark brown and then I'm gonna cut the dark brown because then I'm probably going to use um, this color again to sew all the way down the sleeve. So first of all, I'm going to cut a length, not too long for sewing right here. And then I'm just going to Line them up, make sure you have everything lined up nicely. Do the double knot. Making sure it's nice and tight. And now again, I'm just going to line up these two very nicely and sew all the way till I get to the armpit right here. Now I'm just going back and forth a couple times just to uh, make sure it's nice and secure. And now I'm just going back to the armpit area with this yarn. And I'm going to cut it enough of an amount so I can use this yarn and um, tie it with wherever that, oh here it is. So now I'm going to bring in my, um, this color and what I'm going to do is insert it right next to this one right here, right in this seam area. And then I'm going to take the two and tie them together. So just knot it a few times. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the sleeves and I'm going to sew them together. So I'm just going to fold them like this. And it's pretty easy to see once it's lined up, but you really wanna make sure that you keep them very nicely lined up because you don't want it to be like wonky like this. You wanna make sure that each of these blocks are nicely matched up. So take extra care to make sure that everything is nicely lined up as it should be. Now I'm just gonna go all the way down the sleeve and then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other side with this sleeve, so the exact same thing. 
but I'm gonna go all the way to the end and I'll see when I'm done with both of the sleeves and then we can sew the star on together and then it will be pretty much done and then you have your star sweater. I'm so excited. You guys have been all like tagging me so much in your creations that you make and honestly, it it really like truly makes my day to see them. It's like a big like hug from you guys when you like follow my tutorials. It just feels so good. Big tight hug is what it feels like. So thank you guys so much for watching all of these tutorials and for like following them and making stuff. It's just so awesome. Art is amazing and I love sharing my art with you guys so much. So thank you again for all of the the views and the shares and all of that and the tags. I love it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. <laughs> now that everything is sewn in, I'm just turning it right side out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at it. Oh, it turned out so good. Okay, so now we just have to put the star on. Oh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so I just have to weave in the ends of this star. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I just have to sew it on. Um, I am gonna just use some of that string that I have left over from weaving in the ends so we don't like have to waste yarn. So ideally you're gonna want to measure um, with a measuring tape so you get the middle. So I'm gonna measure it sew it on and I'll see you guys in a second but I'll make sure just before I go um, make sure that you only sew it to this side make sure you don't sew it through both panels if you know what I mean just sew it through the this first front panel so like even just pick up your hand just to check yourself but okay so I'm just gonna sew it on and we'll be right back for the big reveal the star has been sewn on so now I'm just going to try it on Thank you. 